Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a virtual machine. So basically a virtual machine is a basically a distance connected computer. Example for using Oracle VM virtual box, which is open source, you can download it if you want. So basically uh, I'm connecting my laptop to their machines all the way in their head office in US. So I, uh, my laptop is serving nothing more than as a display, than as a, what do we say, a display LED where I'm using basically their computers from my computer. Basically, it's the future, similar to what TVs are today, where you just press a remote and it's the signal. It needs a signal in order to show you channels and everything. So the same will be computers in the future. You will just have to press enter a code and you'll be connected to either my Google, Microsoft, Oracle, or their machines in their server farms, because this reduces hardware and both software costs significantly. So now to teach you how it's done. Okay, let's create a new. Let's name it Amar VM. That's my name basically. ISO ISO image other here here and I'll okay and I'll also show you how to download it. Basically, um, go to Google. Um, ISO image Microsoft. go here you will have to download and install it I've already done that so I won't be doing that okay now next domain name okay it's giving you basically a, a random password and a random username you can set up your own as well Okay, I've set my, basically you have to change the password that it's already given, as it's already given to you and make your own password here and your own username. And you can put a guest edition if you basically want to create a computer for multiple users, you can put, click guest editions here as well. But I won't be showing you that because it's already done on my end. Okay. Install in background, okay. You can configure and install by modifying it. Okay, that's been done now. Host name Amar. Okay, now my host name will be Amar. This will be my domain name. Okay, now next. I right, let's see. You want a base memory? Basically, this would be the RAM. It can be maximum sixteen gigabytes, basically because one thousand MB is one gigabyte. But but it also will take a lot of load, as it's showing you in the red bars here. So let's keep it less for now. Let's keep it 9 GB and how many CPUs? It basically till 12 CPUs. Basically, how many processors do you need? It depends on your company hardware or data requirements. So I'll just start with two basic ones. Okay, use virtual hard disk file. Create a virtual disk now, okay? Basically, this is a further virtual disk you can add into your PC for storage, okay? So I'll just take uh, 2011 gigabyte storage, otherwise you have to 2 TB to do so. Next. Fin after the last, uh, after the last sequence, it's now launched this. It's basically, look, it's loading. It's my own computer within a computer. Now view full screen mode okay switch So it's copying Windows files right now. 